I have a Volkswagen Golf that I'm sitting in at the moment and it has a problem with the blower motor. It only comes on on number four, so one, two and three do nothing. Number four it flicks on. So I'm gonna be showing you what part I'm gonna be installing today to rectify that particular problem. So this can be a very common problem across all makes and models of vehicles and uh, the blower motor resistor uh, is the most common uh, cause of this particular one. Now this was in previously and we diagnosed it. So I've got in that blower motor resistor today and I'm going to show you the step by step process on how you fit that in a Volkswagen Golf. This is a 2008 model and then afterwards show you the different speeds functioning again once that has been fitted. A quick tip that can help you out if you're unsure of where your blower motor is located and you don't have the relevant information to find it, uh, putting on the speeds and setting it to high, if you feel around and see if you can feel a vibration like from the, uh, from the fan spinning at high speeds, uh, you should be able to feel vibration as you get close to it. I believe it's up under here. And uh, I'm going to be taking down this panel and having a better look now and seeing if that is the case. So I've got the new blower motor resistor here. I'll just give you a view of it. That is what it looks like. Four pin. And it looks like it's just clipped in, push clipped in. I don't even see any bolt holes in it. So I'm going to take that out on the vehicle in a moment and uh, you'll see the swap over. First thing I'm going to do is on the lower panel here is remove these little plastic screws like that. There's two of them is all I can see. This should pull down then. And if you look just there, it's as simple as that. You can see the blower motor resistor is right there. And this is just a clip, one on either side. Pull that down, push back on this, and that is the resistor. So this is very fast and easy check. And uh, I'm gonna swap that over now and see if we have a quick fix. So when I put them side by side, if you look at the left hand corner of the old one, it's got a notch taken out of it. This one does not, so I'm just going to make the marks match up so I'll be able to slide this in. This is the old one here and I've just marked the new one roughly with the, uh, the line that I need to file out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I have that corner taken out now, I'd say that should be enough and I'm going to go about checking and see if that fits in now. So you push up and then you slide in and you can see that that notch has allowed that to go in. Plug this connector in here and flick the key. And as you can hear, we have all speeds. We have one, two, three, and four now. And as you can hear, we have all speeds now, one, two, three, four, and working, and this problem is now rectified. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.